story begins in March of 1941, with the U.S. Army having commissioned car companies on the home front to create amphibious vehicles to help our soldiers cross rivers and provide flanks. But recent strategies prove they are effective in carrying a machine gun operator with them to provide protection and fire support. And other field studies have shown that the M29 Weasel is also capable of carrying up to three men with armed weapons. This has led to many infantry divisions equipping their amphibious vehicles with lookouts, snipers, and even bazooka operators. Army technicians have also attempted floating a M2A2 light tank on top of two weasels, which failed. They also attempted moving a jeep onto a weasel, which did not succeed either. They are only the first casualties. Blood tests are being conducted, and the results will be released as soon as they succeed. So that was the creation of the unofficial U.S. Navy, U.S. GIs on the back of amphibious land vehicles with various weapons. Anyway, now we see some seized footage of a copycat German Navy preparing for a sea battle. They are attempting to copy the U.S. with the have an armed soldier on the back of an amphibian strategy. It proves very effective. Now you may be wondering, what happens when two amphibians meet? But luckily, we have some footage showing just that, but be warned, it contains gruesome details of naval warfare. our boys for ya, sinking the Nazis to David Jones's locker. And here, we see a wounded German sailor being rescued by some US medics. It's a shame Jerry wouldn't do the same. And here, we see a convoy of weasels approaching enemy combat, all equipped with artillery pieces. Watch and blow the enemy impediments to hell. Can only begin to think of how terrified the enemy is. They also work fantastic for reconnaissance. The men go out, spot enemy targets and movements, and then radio them in, using this radio right here. Once they get all the vital intel they need, they safely sneak back to friendly territory. But sometimes, Jerry has a recon play. Will our heroes get captured, sunk, or killed? Of course not. They aim that trusty M1919 or Bazooka at the plane and blow it to pieces. Now I bet our AA Corps feels mighty embarrassed. And what are our brave sailors not doing when engaging enemies? Most of our sailors' free time is doing maintenance, winning the decks, or shining shoes. But they also get to enjoy the fresh open water of the rivers in Europe. Just take a gander at that view. This message was brought to you by the unofficial U.S. Navy. I will want to get our Navy going. 